I literally have no idea where we're going right now. Okay, watch this. Eric, can't tell my wife and kids I love them. Okay. No, I'm not gonna become a part of this collection, am I? What's that card in the drawer down there? Uh, there's a there's a basketball card. Ah, I guess it's a Michael Jordan rookie card. 1986 Fleer card. Yeah. Just a Michael Jordan rookie card. Very desirable card. Hanging out in a drawer. You know, I would have started collecting um, right after I graduated high school. You know, I was working at a record store, a CD shop, and we sold CDs primarily, but we received some promotional items in the, the vinyl format. And so I, I had a couple records that I just kind of had because they were free to me or they were easy to access. I don't collect a specific genre of music, um, so I'm kind of all over the map. So this is a pretty fun record. Uh, I actually found this at a record shop uh, in Missoula. They didn't have a whole lot of value placed on it because they didn't really know what it was. So these, this is a Bulgarian woman's choir. And I like this record a lot just because it's so unique. But I also really like it for the specific reason that it really tries the high end of your sound system. These women have very high-pitched voices. I'm Kayla Duncan, and I'm from Aberdeen, South Dakota. One of my favorite memories that I have from collecting Funko Pops is the first one I bought, I was with a friend, and we were really into The Walking Dead at that time. We each got um, our favorite character, and I was watching it, and I lived by myself, so I put Daryl up on my nightstand every night to save me from the zombies, because I'd have nightmares every now and then. I had thought I wouldn't probably get any more, but then we got like 15, and now we're up to something over 100, so it kind of became a collection without us meaning to. We constantly struggle with our collection, having a one-year-old and two dogs running around. We have had a couple pieces that have gotten eaten. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so that's always been a bummer when that happens, but we try our best to keep them up so the dogs and Gavin can't get them. I primarily collect uh, Magic the Gathering cards. I was a player back in 2001 and then I stopped when I came back to college. I just didn't have a play group to play with. But somehow I kept my box for about 10, 12 years, somewhere around there. I pulled those old cards back out and since then have just been keeping up with the sets as they go. When you have a shop in town, there's usually a event every Friday night to come in and play. Uh, and play the latest cards that you have, that you buy, or just make up your own decks. And it's a lot of fun to just come and see people that you know are excited to play with you and try out different things against each other, different uh, decks that we come up with in our spare time. Oh, me encantan los videojuegos. Este, yo estoy... Oh, sorry, sorry. I guess you were... You wanted me to speak English, right? I'm from the island of Puerto Rico, and uh, we moved here about seven years ago. I'm a dad, video gamer, uh, skateboarder, surfer. <laughs> Back in Puerto Rico, obviously, I can surf here. I got a podcast, a uh, YouTube channel. ¿Qué tal, mi amigo? Aquí Mr. Nintendo Fanático, como siempre. Eh, bienvenidos a Nintendo en tu idioma. Eh, aquí con otro videito de eso. One of my favorite memories are going to the arcade when I was a kid. And uh, my father used to, you know, he used to be so positive about it. He never said no or anything. He would just take me there and spend so much time playing those 
original arcades like back in the day you know when I was like eight or nine years old so pretty much that's why I became a game collector pretty much because since way early when I was a kid I was already in that environment my name is Scott and I'm from the Aberdeen area and um, I'm the owner operator of Retrocade in Aberdeen I've been collecting since I was about nine years old I collect coin-operated arcade equipment um, why I collect it I love working on vintage electronics I love the insides of these games more than, than the outsides on a lot of them I love the games I love the lights I love the feel I feel I walk a fine line between collecting and hoarding it's a uh, Collecting is more what you see up here. What you don't see in my storage units is the hoarding. It's, it's, there's a lot of chaos. <laughs> it, can, uh, it can get away from you. I've always collected different items simply because they fascinate me. What I have discovered in my collecting habits with the obsession of collecting, which is what it is, uh, my wife has informed me that I really maybe should shorten up some of my collecting habits because it has overtaken our house. And she may be right about that. Many things that it intrigued me too. I was also very much a Civil War buff. So I do enjoy wearing a Civil War officer's hat. Oil cans that were all thrown in the garbage. A lot of records. <laughs> Anytime I give her grief about a mess she's got in the house, she says, come here, look at this. <laughs> I think people enjoy collecting things because they'll go out to the store and see something that looks kind of cool and they'll pick it up because they're interested in it and they'll think that's going to be the only time they ever buy it but one day they'll turn around and they have a bunch of those items that form their collection then. I, I think I collect because it's a cultural way of life. I mean, I am a product of consumer capitalism. I mean, I'm a product of America. One thing in the back of my mind as a parent now is that someday I maybe decide that I don't need to hang on to this stuff anymore. And with the collections that I keep, I at least have an idea that some of it will retain value. And maybe sometime down the road that will become my son's college fund. Or it can be passed off to him and maybe he holds on to it even longer. I collect because of the nostalgia, you know. I, I love thinking about the times when I, when I was growing up. It's like living, you know, it's like life, remembering the, the, the good days. The thing I think that we should all concentrate on when it comes to collecting is, does it bring enjoyment to us? Is it something that takes us away from our everyday worries, our everyday concerns, and gives us a smile upon her face sometimes makes your heart beat a little more. If you spot that item you've been searching for forever and it catches your eye, does it give you a feeling of excitement? We need more excitement, more joy, and uh, a lot of things in our life take away from that, but collecting brings us back to where we should be at all times. Oh, God! <laughs> I swear that never happens. <laughs>